shit, dog, word up. I be all got my motherfucking weed card and shit legally protected all up in Washington State. So if you a Google moderator doing your moderating, watching this video because some jealous douchebag done flagged it, you know I ain't breaking no laws up in this bitch. Legally protected. I-502. I I'm over 21 and shit. So I legally can get recreationally. You know? Word. What's up, guys? Man, I shot this thing and I got like way up in it and um and then I'm like fucking what happens is I start to do some math in my head and I sit there for a little bit and then I say the wrong answer and I start talking a little bit more and then I start thinking in my head no that can't be right and that can't be right and I'm like fuck and then I say what it is and I look and I just wasted a minute like I just did now so um anyhow as you read in the fucking top about uh, mystery oil and I've brought this up in the past you know this is something if you're on the extract artist page in Facebook this is old news I'm um, probably not even turn as you see I got skunk farm Research's page up here fucking you know about that too it's probably old news um, skunk farm has been around a lot longer than the um, uh, mystery oil at least discussion as far as I know um, I was turned on to this about a, a little over a year ago when I got the closed loop because there's a guy in there named Bray Wolf and pretty much the way the closed loop operates is off of their their turpinator design with the um, Appion G5 twin and uh, it's a pump I have down in the basement it's a recovery pump it's not exactly uh, rated to run hydrocarbons but at a full vacuum and there's there's no oxygen in there people do that I mean so what they did to get this mystery oil so uh, I'll show you the pictures of the Appion uh, go up, go up, go up right here um. and this is how you would distill your butane like if you were going to do a run whether you're using N-butane or can butane people like to focus on can butane and when they're talking about mystery oil as if it's not in in butane when those people are fucking retards just straight up if you uh, want you can click the very first link right below my um I have a uh, little warning you know in my description then there's the first link the very first link you'll see a video done by the owner of Emotech Labs which is the um, biggest fucking as far as not being only cannabis extractors you know like there's Tamisium and whatever but that's not a fucking twenty five thousand dollar professional unit that's being used by nutraceuticals to process fish oil and coconut oil and all these um fucking flax all these different I don't even know what kind of seed oil they're all making anyhow they use it for um, actual vitamin companies use this shit not just people making oil but uh, he shows you in this video in the OB dose just 12 pounds of N-butane 12 pounds this is 10 ounces so that's less than fucking two cases 12 fucking pounds all right and he runs that and look how much mystery oil there's at least a quarter ounce of fucking mystery oil in there so without distilling in butane like he says if you're not taking it out you're fucking up the way to take it out is to distill it and as you see right here you've got a tank being heated and a tank being chilled and between the two there's a recovery pump that's just speeding the process up without the recovery pump the tank being heated the solvent the gas would boil or your solvent would boil into a gas go up the line and then you got a tank that's the only place you can go to where it's chilled lower pressure and that's going to recondense it into a liquid bingo not hard but uh... and then now everything that's left in there is your heavies shit that wouldn't purge out of oil so if it did leave this tank and end up in this tank then it's a light enough hydrocarbon that it would be purged out of the oil anyways we are not even in a vacuum here so thought I'd bring that up with any closed loop you can do this you just load your solvent to the bottom tank and then distill it to your recovery tank just as if you did a run you know only you didn't do a run then you clean the tank out because instead of collecting oil you're you're not like well you're collecting a different kind of oil mystery oil but yeah so I thought I'd bring that up it's really annoying that uh, there's people that I guess I don't know if they're just finding out about it or maybe they think I don't know about it or or whatever but yeah I get hit up about fucking dumb stuff I mean it'd be like someone hitting me up and being like dude you're not supposed to whip <laughs> okay dude thanks you saved my life so um <coughs> don't take that too um 
heavy. People take, take shit if I say don't whip. I mean, dude, if you want to whip your shit, go right for it. I don't think you're uh, poisoning yourself or anything. But here, people want to talk about um, brands. A lot of people like to bring up Power as being the one with a lot of mystery oil in it. And I find that kind of funny because it, it's not hard to find this out. There's people who actually have done it to see. So um, this is, a, I'm going to shout out to Skylighter uh, on, from Toke City. Uh, shout out to a Toke City person. There's actually a few people on there that fucking do research. And uh, if you really want to find oh, every bit of important research that has anything to do with making oil, skunkfarmresearch.com. I mean, that's where it's all at. This mystery oil thread is just one thread. There's probably 30 or 40 other threads written by fucking people and you'll see how far they go they took this mystery oil and sent it off to uh, run it through a, a gas chromatograph or GCMS so I think that's a, with a mass spectrometer and that is I don't don't quote me on that I could be wrong but um that's where I mean do quote me that they had a third-party lab do it with a GCMS but don't quote me that it's you know I know the GC is gas chromatograph but the MS I don't know if that means mass spectrometer let me know but uh, here you see they did Lucien twice. That might confuse people. Well, when you're doing, when you're trying to get data, you have to do a control. Okay, so that's what the first one is. So you see, the only variance here is by 0.4 ppm. That's fucking not much at all, in case uh, you don't know that. But down here, you see then they did one called gas one. These ones with stars. That means it contained methyl mercaptans. So people want to try and talk a bunch of shit saying mercaptan this, mercaptan that, mercap, mercap your fucking ass. Look, none of these other ones, even Ronson, contained methyl mercaptans. So, I don't know. I don't know what, what people, they pull info out of their ass. No, I don't think they pull it out of their ass. They hear someone else or they read what someone else typed or they hear what someone said verbally in a YouTube video. It's not actually research they looked at for their self or did their self. It's always repeated shit, and that's where you fuck up. So um, down here you see Power 5, a 300 milliliter can. Don't get confused because see Vector's 320 milliliters. Now notice how they have, like for, um, this is per can, milligrams of can contaminant per can, the stuff left behind. They did like um, 48 cans per run, so then I'm assuming they just divided it by 48. But um, six cases is what they did per, per run. But um, down here, the one that's point, it's point three four. Keep in mind, Vector, there's 20 more milliliters per can. So give them the fudge there. So it's not really 51 milliliters or milligrams in 300 milliliters. So that would probably be something like 49. Still more than power, not much more than power if you look at some of the other ones. And then down here, uh, you see we've got Newport. And that is a 300 milliliter can, just like power. 61 milligrams per milliliter so people I like Newport Newport's good stuff I'm not dogging on Newport I've I have a fucking master case of it in my freezer I've been using this shit I like it it's just not the cleanest shit this isn't science just because it says that on it doesn't mean that's true so um really you go down here to Calibri and that's another one that people want to say is so clean and it's really racist people in my opinion um because no, I'm just joking. But you hear people go, fuck, you using that Korean shit, Korean shit, that Korean this? Where'd all your fucking cell phones come from and shit? Why has Korea got to be some fucking sad country? It's not fucking Somalia. It's not some undeveloped shit. If you look at Korea, those fuckers are smart. It's not, it's not, maybe, maybe you think it comes from North Korea. I don't know, but I find it really funny that people assume that just because the butane came from white people that it's clean. It's, it's uh, pretty ignorant. But yeah, down here you see we've got Calibri um, with the most, I mean not Ronson, it didn't have more than Ronson, but the most out of ones that we prefer to use. And uh, that is 2.34 millil milliliters, but that's in 270 <coughs> milliliter can. Keep that in mind. So we're in less, using less butane and we've already got eight times as much mystery oil as a can of power. So uh, add another three, 30 milliliters to that can to make it the same amount of solvent as fucking power, and you've got even more mystery oil. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's kind of funny. Uh, I'm not shitting on you if you use Calibri. I'll still smoke your oil. Like I said, we're talking milligrams per can, and we know how much oil we get per can. 
So do the math. If you're running, if you're running uh, a can, let's say we're running Ronson, and it's 42.7 milligrams per um, per can. Okay. Say we do a can per ounce. All right, and we're running, you know, just some some regular bud. I'm going to even up that to 50 milligrams per can. We'll just say it has even more than what it does. Okay, just to just to give put this in perspective, we're saying we're using something that's dirtier than Ronson, and we're going to run an ounce of weed. Okay. Off that ounce of weed, we're probably going to get about five grams. Five, if we got four grams, that would be um, uh, about 12, 13 percent. If we're using a whole can on an ounce of good bud, let's fucking say we get about five grams. You know, some people get up around seven. But let's say we'll get five, all right? We get five grams. Okay. So that means there is 10 milligrams per gram of mystery oil. Oh my God, dude, I'd be worried about 10 milligrams of butane per gram. You know, so fucking, that is, not, to give you some perspective, 10 milligrams, um, or no, sorry, not 10 milligrams, my bad, um, point, point 0.1 milligram. I am so sorry, that's what I did in the last video. Point 0.1 milligram per gram. Holy shit. That is nothing. That point 0.1 milligram per gram, that is um, one one thousandth. So once you've consumed a thousand grams of that oil, then you finally consumed a gram of of whoa. What's the stuff that 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 you consumed? Well, they sent it off and got it tested. So, and this is what's in the mystery oil in the parts per billionth. So something that you would have to smoke a thousand grams of in order to consume a gram of this, you would have, in that gram that you consumed, in parts per billion of that gram that you consumed, here's what's in it. And you can check all these out. And um, what someone had brought up is how come you don't get your shit tested um, for the mystery oil in, instead of um, just butane? And that was kind of a, a loaded question and an uneducated one because if you look I posted in my last video all of the lab results that we've had done and if you look I don't get them tested for butane they don't test for just butane sorry I'm sounding like a smart ass I need a hit if you look at the uh, test results they are tested for residual hydrocarbons if you go on this website and you look at all the components of mystery oil almost everything there is a hydrocarbon so yes it is tested for mystery oil. It's not telling you how much mystery oil versus how much butane. It's all fucking hydrocarbons. And if, um, like the person said, what's, what's um, carcinogenic and what's not, you might have some carcinogenic shit. I'm not here to say what's carcinogenic and what's not. I've been told the red dye in my fucking Powerade's carcinogenic and I haven't got cancer from it yet. But um, if you're consuming a thousand grams and you're running Ronson or something dirtier, and then um, you consume a gram of it. Maybe these, any of these, if they're car are carcinogenic in the parts per billion, I doubt would be enough to fuck you up. Okay? It's not like you're fucking eating methyl butane and shit. Okay? So yeah, sorry if I sound irritated. I um I wanted to put this out here to educate uh, all of you because of fucking people. I, if they learn shit from my videos, that's awesome. But don't just take it from me. Go and uh, check it out. If you hear me say something and you're like, oh, wow, I, I learned something, fucking check it out. You can, I mean, if you Google the word, sometimes that works. Usually if you, like, ask some expert, that usually is better. It's not always possible to do that, though. But, I mean, in this case, here's the fucking website where the research was done. So, I mean, the only thing... Um, I don't know where I was going with that actually. Oh yeah, so the only thing you could do um, probably would be to go on here, check out this shit, and learn as much as you can, and then you can actually fucking learn how to do other shit. There's the show how to, uh, like I brought up with the closed loop. There's shit talking about clo different closed loop ideas, different fucking cold trap to recover um, tain and terps from your that you're purging out of your oil. That's fucking crazy. So. Um, yeah, check out Skunk Farm Research. There's a link in the description. And remember, don't forget to check out that video of Giddy Up 
cleaning all of that mystery oil out of his system that came from pure intain. That was a dry run. That didn't come from weed. That, that fucking slime right there was in the actual medical grade solvent. Here we are. Cheers. Uh, this is the uh, three star pure kush. So yeah, the um, I'm not gonna try to give no date because I could, I guess I could, I could say it like this: within the next week or two, to the next month or two, we're gonna have the sweet leaf unit, and I'll do a quick little video showing how to distill butane. It's not something that's hard to do; it's hard to get the equipment to do. So that's that's what it's not. I mean, right now I have the equipment to do it, but I have the equipment to do about five cans at a time, and I have nowhere to store that five cans. So if I distill five cans, I have to run that five cans. And the runs I do take a lot more than five cans of butane. So it's kind of not really fucking worth doing. I mean, I, unless I wanted to fucking run half pounds all day, which in the case of today, I am. But I think I'm gonna, I think I use more than five cans on a half pound. Yeah, I do, I use like eight. So shit, that wouldn't work. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah. If anything, sorry if I was like smart ass sounding in the beginning of the video. I just really wanted to, I mean, as you can see what I was motivated by a comment, which usually, I don't know. It's been a while since I've done that. I mean, back when I would do it, I'd come on just fucking talk shit. But right now, I actually showed some real data. And the only fucking facts that the person can bring up that they brought with, or that they said was, fucking, I came from fucking a bad past. Which, in my eyes, that just makes some other people look bad. I mean, I don't try to talk about where I came from and all that, because I don't, why would I brag about that? I know a lot of people like to do, I know Coma likes to do that shit, but why brag about where I came from? But other people like to um, say it like it's bad, like, oh, cool, well, where am I now? You're not there, so it's, it's kind of fucked up. But, uh... Yeah, I hope you guys check this out. Um, he also did all these other butanes. I don't know if I went over that, but there's Vector, Calibri, XKR, um, Iwatani, Cloud9, Metro7, um, Kamoi, Clippier, Pure Tane, Capital N Butane. Oh, if you want to know how much Capital N Butane had, that was 0 .008 grams per 6.6 .6 ounces. I don't know if that's what they call their cans, but um, to give you an idea, in a 6.6 .6 ounce, which is, I don't know, I, I don't know how much fucking, it didn't say how many milliliters, so that's really what I'll tell you. 6.6 um, .6 ounces it um, was, yeah, the 0 .8 grams, so that was or 0 0.008 grams, which is 0.8 milligrams. So it's a little bit more than um, Calib or sorry, a little bit more than Newport, way less than Calibri. I'm cool with it. I just I don't know. Some I mean people like to say that there's no in propane in there, and if there's no in propane in there, I mean I use fucking Newport for a reason over the um, power, not because it's cleaner. I use it for the in propane. So I don't know. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I know a few of you guys have used capital M butane. Even the one homie Z got got a free case from him. So let me know what you guys think. Um, oh, there's one called Jetline that looks fucking gross. There's Lotus. Yeah, just check all these out. Zippo. Oh shit, dude, Zippo's really. Cool. That's what Archie used to use to make the amber glass. Oh my god, dude, the Zippo butane. That's fucking cleaner than the um. It's .001. So that's cleaner than the fucking, way cleaner than the capital N butane, and it's fucking Zippo. So, that's hilarious. Alright guys, you have a good one. Hope you have a heyday on this website if you don't already know about it. A lot of good info. Peace.